Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando and we are going to be trying all of the new food at this year's Halloween Horror Nights. I am so excited. Universal invited me out to give you guys a sneak peek at some of the food that they're going to be offering this year and we are going to be doing it through the Taste of Terror. And then after that, we're going to be checking out the Minion Land, trying some of the food and riding the new Minion attraction where I'm going to be able to show you the queue. So we're going to eat some food, ride some rides and have a beautiful beautiful Universal Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. This week is the hottest week of the summer and we're gonna try to stay as cool as possible, but that's really hard to do inside of a theme park. Universal put this together kind of as like a food sampling, so we're not gonna be eating all the food. We're just gonna be sampling it and testing it out. Some of it is smaller portions and stuff like that, but we still have to be cautious because we're doing all the Halloween Horror Nights food and the Minions food, and we're gonna give you a little sneak peek, just a little bit of the annual pass holder appreciation food. So this is definitely a Universal foodie kind of day. The cool thing is, is when you get inside of the, uh, the Taste of Terror, you're gonna be able to see what all of these food stands are. Like right now they're blank, but I can tell which ones they are. Like I can tell that this one is gonna be Surfer Boy Pizza, I think. This one must be Yeti. I mean, it's gotta be Yeti right there. And then over here is uh, probably The Last of Us. There are 10 houses and five scare zones this year and plenty of entertainment. And then also a lot of really cool themed food like when I talk about the food here I think the thing that stands out the most is like the way it's presented and like the names and stuff like that like they go all in and make it very spooky and Halloween Horror Night-ish Halloween Horror Night-ish I don't even know if that's a thing but it sounds fancy Halloween Horror Night-ish we're making our way back now to go try some of the Halloween Horror Nights food and on the marquee it actually says taste of terror how awesome is that the reason it says Taste of Terror on the marquee is because this is an event that you can actually buy tickets to go to and it's called Taste of Terror. And normally I don't like filming like the inside of like media events and stuff like that, but this is exactly what you can pay to go to and it's perfect because this is before HHN so you can have an idea of what all the food is going to be like and it's also really good for people that are afraid of HHN because now you get to experience the food part of it without getting scared. And and it's $160 you can book in advance and they're also taking walk-ups if they're available and I'll put a link in the description but we're gonna try all of the food from Halloween Horror Nights I'm gonna try every single thing and let you guys know what I think I'm gonna try every single food item look at how cool it is in here I love the theming and it has all the food for you to just come up grab and then you know try and you can make as many trips as you want you can get up and grab as many food and you can go to the bar as many times as you want and I love how they have different like themed areas each area is either from a scare zone or for a house as you can see as we go around you got Chucky over there uh, you got the stellar bar right behind us it's super bright it's got all the drinks on it and then you got the last of us over on this side stranger things with surf boy pizza the Yeti over here look at that this is so cool I think my favorite area is definitely Surfer Boy Pizza because they have like these diner like seating boots that they have right outside and I think that's just so cool look at that comes with the napkins and the salt and pepper this is so cool and I love I just love how even the the uh, the seating is themed different in each area I just noticed that I mean they have like these common little areas but each area you go to like this right here is kind of like a fallout and then in the woods with the Yeti is like a classic picnic table that is so nifty you can stay inside if you want but I feel like showing you guys the food like in daylight where it's not so dark is probably gonna be the best so I'm gonna go in and out and actually be bringing stuff outside so I can show you guys and try it on camera uh, where you'll see it a little bit clearer you know what I mean because it's hard to tell what the food looks like when it's under that like special lighting inside and indoors I think I found the uh, food item everyone's going to be talking about this year. The peanut blutter burger. A smash burger with peanut sauce, raspberry jelly, cheddar cheese, shaved onions, jalapeno bacon, and uh, cherry peppers on a vampire bun. Look at that. 
I mean, it looks so cool. I have to try it. And then they also have a Surfer Boy Hawaiian French bread pizza. Look at that. Wow. A bloody campground poutine. All of this food looks so good. They got some burnt eggs in the back there too. I love it. And then a left behind ravioli. Look at this. The theming is just so amazing. Oh, a vegan walking taco. You don't say. I'm all about that too. And also it looks like fried till the end chicken. I love just the, the theming here. It looks all amazing. I am very impressed right now because this is a cake. This is a clicker cake actually. Are we gonna cut this open? We're not gonna cut oh, it. We're gonna keep it hopefully. <laughs> I would love to eat it. You know? Can you imagine if this is a wedding? Who's getting that smashed in their face? <laughs> no, these, are too. these are actually real cordyceps. Really? In the show. Wow. And that's all edible. That's so, wow. I love that we're getting to try all these amazing snacks. This really is gonna be a day full of food. Look at this, the Hellfire Club. I'm gonna definitely take one of those. Unfortunately, I'm not too sure how much each of these items are gonna be selling for in the park during Halloween Horror Nights. They don't have the prices on it. It's, like I said, all you care to enjoy for one set price. Uh, but you could buy individual items all around the park during the event, not just coming in here, you know? I grabbed a couple of the food items and took them outside and uh, decided I was going to try them out and see how they taste and show you guys. I'm really excited to try The Last of Us. This is a cheese ravioli only because I love the presentation of it. And you do get this can, like this food ration, you actually get uh, if you buy it. Like that's not just for this event. They actually come that way all the time. And of course, we've got the Hellfire Club little cake here. We had to get the vampire burger. Well, it's not the vampire. This is a vampire bun but they also have the pumpkin one here and then the bloody snowball so this is a lot of food and I guess we'll just dive in Halloween Horror Nights is always known for having unique food and this year is no different I mean everything from the last of us like I said look at you're actually gonna get a can of like a food ration and I'm excited to try that like I said to like just like a pumpkin like the bloody snowball that's a good that's a good example in fact I think we're gonna start with this, the bloody snowball and I happen to have a fork in my pocket right here so uh, might as well just dive in dive into a little bloody snowball here oh this looks so good Ooh, look at the inside of that look at the way that was just cut I'm excited so here we go first bite of Halloween Horror Nights food this year Wow, what would be the chances that the first thing I get might be my favorite thing? Wow, this is so good. The coconut is amazing. And then the chocolate, it's like the perfect balance. But I'll keep moving. I'll keep moving around. There's definitely a lot of desserts to try. Maybe I'll go with the food ration now. I don't like cheese ravioli, but I am excited to just uh, give it a try. First, we're gonna try what's on top of the can here. And I'm sure this is edible. I'm, I'm pretty positive it's edible. Oh, so good. Down inside the can is where the raviolis are. I'm gonna pull them out. Oh my lord, these are huge raviolis. Holy moly. Talk about a can of ravioli. Oh, I lost it. Holy ravioli. That's impressive. Look at, there's a couple of them in there. I think there's four. Honestly, like that is huge. So here we go. It's good. I like uh, I like the presentation more than the ravioli, I would say. I mean, oh, and, and it's cheese. If it was a meat ravioli, I'd probably like it a lot more. But yeah, I would get it just, just so I could walk around with a can like this. Luckily, I had a backup fork in my pocket because I don't like to mix my food items. You know what I mean? I like to have a dessert fork, which I got right here, and then I like a, a savory fork. So now I think we're going to go to the, uh, the pumpkin here. Look at this, the little pumpkin cream puff. I don't know if I can cut this even. Oh, well, I think I just destroyed that. <laughs> I try to be delicate with my food sometimes, but it doesn't happen that way. Oh, look at how good this looks. All right, I'm just gonna cut into it. This was good until I had the pumpkin cream puff. Now the pumpkin cream puff is just too much. I love it. And then uh, I still have the Hellfire Club. So like the pumpkin right now is my favorite, but I do have to try this. Let's see what this is like. It's a very melty mess. My guitar melted. Look, it's like actually falling apart. Today is one of the hottest days 
of the whole entire year. And we're outside eating Halloween Horror Night snacks. Cheers to that. We're just making our way right through it and now it's time for the peanut butter and jelly burger. And it's not just peanut butter, it's like a peanut Thai sauce, so it's not overly peanut butter, but I like the vampire bun. Oh, here we go. Time for the burger now. The burger is good. Like I said, it really doesn't taste like peanut butter and jelly too much. It's a good balance, but it's all the food is like so unique. You know what I mean? Everything just tastes like special to me. I love it all. Now that we got a handful of treats already done, it's time to head back inside, make another lap and uh, grab more. Like I said, I wanna try every single food item for Halloween Horror Nights and I'm excited that we're gonna have them all laid out for us today because it'd be so hard to navigate around the park and get each one, but they're all conveniently right here at the Taste of Terror. And then over here you have the uh, Tinseltown Torment. It's an old fashioned bourbon oh wow it's old fat oh, oh old forester bourbon and cherry brandy with orange and cranberry juice thought it was an old-fashioned i was like oh sign me up really good i'm i do like old forester though so i'm all about it and i like cherry and oranges and how do you feel about chocolate in there oh you know what throw it in a little it's cherry in it's in there yeah, it's wow cherry i like it all yeah, oh, very yeah. cool we're gonna wait and take all of the food outside so I can show you guys what it looks like with better lighting But uh, here is uh, the Tinseltown torture. We'll try the drinks in here. I don't mind that Ooh, nah, That's actually wait a second I came back in for another sip. That is good. That is really really good Right over here, they have the USA Sci-Fi Peacock Stand. The USA Sci-Fi Peacock Stand, that sounds funny. And they have a mutilated pork loin. Mutiloid, mutilated. Slow smoked applewood bacon wrapped pork loin with roasted root hash with fig and pear and uh, with a, a red wine demi. That's kind of cool, I'll take some of that. And now we have some fried till the end chicken. Look at that, fried popcorn chicken tossed in Nashville hot sauce, drizzled with ranch and topped with scallions and chili. Very fancy, yeah, I'll take some of that too. And now we've got some vegan walking taco. I always love the walking taco, you know? And the walking dead. <laughs> Can I have one, do you just grab it? Oh yeah, right here? Oh, very fancy. Right here, they have black beans, vegan chorizo, oh. iceberg lettuce, uh, pico de gallo, corn salsa, cilantro. A little bit of everything. And then vegan sandwich. Nice. Well, thank you. I have grabbed everything from round two. Look at how many items I have here. How many do you think I have? I think I have five, maybe six different items. And I'm going to try to set it down without losing any of it. Look at it. Beautiful. Wow. Look, you have one right here. That's one. This is the Surfer Boy Pizza, and then also the Bloody Campground Poutine. Then we've got the uh, pork loin, the mutilated pork loin right here. Very fancy. Then we've got the chicken bites, the vegan walking tacos, and then the uh, chocorinos, chicharinos. Look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, and nine, nine because we got the drink. First things first, it's the vegan walking taco. And this is gonna come in handy, especially at Universal, because you know, a lot of times they don't have food that's just easy to walk around with. And that's why this is perfect, because it's a walking taco. It's a vegan one too. I'm excited to try it too. You know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of vegan stuff, but if it's good, it's good. And it's good. Now we'll dive into the mutilated pork loin. Look at all that bacon on there. And I also, they, they have rolls there, so something tells me that uh, you can actually buy this and uh, get it with uh, a roll. Like you can have a, like a little mutilated pork slider. Here we go. Mutilated pork. I really like this mutilated pork. It's so good, especially with the bacon, but you know what, it might get a little too greasy. You know what I mean? It might be too much uh, if you're, you know, plan on spending all night at Halloween Horror Nights. Look, if you just see the grease underneath there, look, you can actually draw it on the plate. 
That's a lot of grease. I mean, but that's pork. Pork is very greasy. Now, uh, maybe we should try a dessert. How about the mummy, the mummy pop? Yes, there we go. Look at how cute this is. And I don't need a fork. I can uh, just eat it right off the popsicle stick. Here we go. Everything is melting so fast though. Today, like I said, today is super hot and I'm the one that's sitting outside. I could sit inside, but it's very dark in there and it's very loud. So I wanted to come out here where you can hear the screams of uh, the people riding, uh, rip riding right there. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm not the biggest fan of this. I mean, I think it might be the texture and the way it's really melty right now, but yeah, I think I might pass on it. I think I'll move to the uh, chicken bites now. Grab a little chicken bite there, and then we have the poutine next. Oh, and the, the, the pizza, which are uh, the Surfer Boy pizza. I'm excited to try that, because it's spam and pineapple. Here we go, chicken bites. Mmm. The chicken bites definitely have a little spice to them. And I went on and I ate the pizza and the poutine. Uh, and uh, just to speed things up instead of going one by one, my favorite thing out of this round of everything I have on the table is probably the spicy, well, the chicken bites. They're just so good. My least favorite thing is the ghost pop. I did like the walking taco. I think that's good. And the same thing with the, the uh, mutilated pork, but like, I feel like they're like the end of the night. Like, you know what I mean? If you eat this, like if you eat a lot of this during uh, the uh, HHN, then it might, you know, make your stomach a little upset. But these are good to go. I love them so much. Just the uh, perfect amount of spice and the texture is good too. Now that we basically had all the food, which we did, and later on we'll actually go through and I'll tell you guys my favorites, which, you know, I already said the chicken is, but I'll talk about like my top three favorite food items and uh, the three that I didn't like the most. But we might as well get some drinks at the Stellar Bar and uh, I think I'm gonna start off with the ghoul juice. The ghoul juice comes with some dark rum, cherry brandy, simple syrup, oh, mango, mango nectar. And uh, yeah, some, bitters in there little ghoul juice the drinks are usually too like sugary for me whenever i come to hhn like some of them are good like i did like that uh the tormented one that we had in the beginning with the cherry and the uh, old foster or old fashioned but usually the drinks are a little bit too like sugary for me so i'm excited to see if i like this or not Ooh. This is good. This is good. It's not it's not too strong. It's still very sweet. Very, very sweet. But I do like the taste of it. But luckily, they do have a Salt Lake City iced coffee this year. They're going to have a, uh, like a little uh, espresso martini. Kind of. And I'm excited for that. It's brewed coffee with Hayden's espresso liquor and a little bit of rum in there with uh, some uh, smoked bitters. And it looks really good. I decided to actually get a little bit so that I can wash down the ghoul juice. This coffee is definitely way better than the ghoul, jo the ghoul juice. I mean, I love coffee, like base drinks, like espresso martinis. You know, if anyone orders one, I'm like, I'll take one too. But I can see myself drinking a lot of these and just getting all hyped up for the night. With, the, with or without the liquor. Like, honestly, I just want coffee all the time. Well, the Taste of Terror was really fun, and I'm so happy that I got to enjoy some of the Halloween Horror Night snacks before Halloween Horror Nights. So now I know what to go for and what I don't want to actually spend my money on. And uh, now I want to show you guys a little bit of the Minion coverage that we did earlier this morning, where we got to finally ride the ride. And also, we're going to try some of the food at Minion Cafe and outside, because I never tried any of the fancy, like the, the quick snacks, like the, the banana popcorn and the popsicle and stuff like that so i figured today would be the perfect day ladies and gentlemen boys and girls all creatures great and small now appearing at the illumination theater the minions Yeah, my 
might look a little familiar because Donkey and Shrek used to meet here, but they're in the back of the park now in the DreamWorks section. DreamWorks and Illumination are two separate animation companies. Illumination is just Sing and Despicable Me, and those are the only characters you'll see here. Any DreamWorks, they'll be in the back of the park. Oh, well, hello, hello. Excited? I'm very excited. You guys bring me, oh, not excited, not excited. I love all the noises. They're very fun. Can we, oh, kiss it, oh, I hear the, mm. can we, uh, can we take a photo? Yeah, yeah, let's do, no, yeah, okay, we'll do one. Now I wanna try some of the food I haven't tried yet over in the Minion Land, and there's a lot of it. Like, I wanna get one of the freeze pops and maybe the banana popcorn, since we didn't get the banana popcorn last time, but it's cool just walking around here and uh, seeing, like, nobody in this area. How awesome is that? They got the freeze ray pops, the bank of evil. This goes into the Minion Cafe, but I think I want the Minion popcorn, the banana popcorn, and that's down here, so we'll start over there. I have had my fair share of interesting flavored popcorns, but I've never had banana popcorn. And the best way to describe it, well, the best way they described it to me is if you melted down some banana runts and then drizzled it and made like, uh, like caramel corn with it. So we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna try it out here. I like it. <laughs> I wish YouTube would invent smell-o-vision because I'd love to actually let you guys smell this. It's, it's amazing, it's really, really good. I like it a lot, like I said, I want something unique and this is definitely a unique snack. Now I wanna try one of those freeze pops because it's so hot out. Now it's time to try some of the Freeze Ray Pops and they have a big selection of flavors. They have blue banana, Nutella, orange creamsicle, coconut, lemon mint, it's actually all in this little, uh, area right here. I think I might get the lemon mint. Kind of like a mint julep. There's nothing like a mint julep on a hot day. So good. I mean, I, I fell in love with mint juleps when I was in New Orleans, but now it's cool that I can get a little frozen popsicle. Ooh. That is definitely lemon, like puckerish, like definitely a strong lemon taste. And am I the only one that just bites into a popsicle or do you lick it a little bit? Like it's so crazy. Since we tried all of the Minion food, might as well head in and go on Villain Con Minion Blast. Now, in the last video, I wasn't allowed to show you guys the queue, but today, since we're no longer in technical rehearsals, I think I can show you the queue. All right, it's time to head on in. Welcome to Villain Con International. And before you head in, you got to uh, enhance your experience by downloading the app because you get special like blasters and it's really cool. A lot of other effects and different missions. And uh, this is the queue. Very spacious, very AC'd. I like it. And a lot of things to keep the kids busy with. Look at it. I like it a lot. It can be a little bit loud in here, but uh, basically we're going to show you a little bit about the app and then I'm also I'm going to show you a video of what the ride is like uh, because we can't film on the ride itself, but at least I'll show you kind of like the idea behind it uh, by the uh, pre-show video that they have in here. This is basically the game right here, or the attraction. I feel like it's an attraction in the game. And uh, you pick up your blaster, and then you hop on a uh, moving walkway. And you can see a second here. And you actually go around and you shoot different things. You shoot minions. It's actually really fun. There it is, that's the moving walkway you hop on. And then you stand on one of the dots and then you just start shooting. It's really fun. You don't have to go anywhere. The screens are all around you on each side. And then that's the trigger right there. They have so many things to just keep you occupied as you wait in line. And a lot of cool references to some awesome universal like picture movies including uh the flux time tourism go anywhere a little nod to back to the future there and uh, a lot of other stuff let me know if you guys see any other ones from the posters that they have here 
I kind of like it. I think it's really cool. All right, it's time to head on in and uh, see uh, what kind of score I can get. I'll let you guys know what my score is at the end once we get out. Hi. Just grab any blaster. I'm taking this one. It's fully charged. Beautiful. I'm ready to go. Look at this. Ready to scan. I'm gonna sync up my blaster to my phone. I think you just hold it here. Ready to scan. Wicked. Done. Lit up green. I'm ready to go. Looks like we're all synced up. I can switch out my name. I'm officially paging Mr. Morrow, and uh, we're ready to go. Afterwards, you return your blaster. There it is. I did good, though. I think I did good. And also, look at Go Informer Taylor. Look at Taylor from the Orlando Informer, number 17. Look at that. He's the only person I've seen in the top, like, 20. All right, enough of the minion business. I didn't get a high score. I didn't even rank in the top leaderboard. But you've seen my friend uh, Taylor from the Orlando Informer did. Right there he was. And uh, now I think we're going to head out because it's raining out and uh, we're going to go and uh, go home and see Gracie Girl. Call it an early day because the rain is coming. It's definitely stormy skies up there. As we're walking out, I see one more structure set up for Halloween Horror Nights. I can't wait to just walk through here and get scared. I can't wait to walk through here and get scared. That sounds so funny. But look, yeah, you can see the storm clouds are coming. I got some raindrops falling on my head. Actually. Those sound like some big drops. I think it's gonna come down quick, so we better run. Hello, Gracie. Is there a princess? There she is. There's my little princess. Let me see that smile. Let me see it. Show it to me. Show me the smile. Come on. Yes. Who's a good girl? Who's a little pretty princess? It's great to see Gracie. I literally just got back from Boston yesterday and I missed her so much. And with all the traveling that I've been doing, uh, I actually have uh, like a dog sitter, someone who comes and stays with Gracie in my house. So she's not stressed out with all the traveling going on and she gets to just stay home, you know what I mean? So when I go away, Gracie literally gets to just stay home. I feel so much better with that instead of her going somewhere or going over a friend's house or anything like that. It's really nice to be able to have her just kind of chilling in her own house, you know? I think I heard somebody at the front door. Oh, oh, oh look at this little girl. Come on in. Yes, thank you. Oh, glad you're home. I've been waiting all day for you. And with that, I think we are done here today. Some of my favorite foods for Halloween Horror Nights this year that I've tried so far, like I said, we tried all of them, unless they have a couple of items that they didn't feature inside the Taste of Terror, uh, or a Taste of Terror, or Taste of Terror. I'm not too sure how to say it, but uh, some of my favorite items definitely would be uh, the Last of Us cheese ravioli. The presentation is just so cool. Not the biggest fan of the cheese ravioli, but that's just me. I know there's a lot of people that think that it's a great ravioli, but I did like the uh, the uh, tempura mushrooms that they had on top, and the presentation, you just can't beat that. And then all of the desserts. All of the desserts were fantastic. I loved all of them. Uh, the poutine I didn't like so much. It wasn't it was I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't really, I mean, I'd rather get something from like Canada and stuff like that. Uh, then also I really loved the, the, the little chicken bites. Those were perfect. The, 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 the texture and uh, the heat amount, it was just perfect. Overall, let me know what you guys think. Would you be interested in going to this new event that Halloween Horror Nights is doing? Uh, especially if you're not a fan of the horror scene. Let me know in the comments if you think what I did today inside there is worth $160. I did hear that there's talks of a price drop, so it might go down to like 130. So you have to check Universal Studios Orlando. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can uh, check it in case you want to book it. And I can't wait for HHN to come around the corner. I'll be there opening night. I'm so excited. And maybe I'll see some of you there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.